before I start, uh, I'd like to say go check out Jay Blader's newest video. He did a uh, a uh, Minecraft hardcore survival for 100 days challenge. Uh, put in a lot of effort into it. So if you guys are interested in that, please go check it out. Watch through it all, like, comment, and everything. Uh, yeah, so 900 subscriber Q and A. A thousand's kind of big, and I wasn't gonna do one for that, so I kind of was looking and was like, oh, let's do a Q&A for this one. Um, I did one about a year ago, I'd say. Because uh, I forget I forget what, I think it was April or May of last year, maybe March, something like that, that I hit 700. Um, so, I let's do a Q&A this time. So, I'm gonna start off with, uh, well, I'm gonna cut between the questions, too. Uh, because one thing I, I also realized doing this other one is it'd be easier if I want to, you know, think back and rephrase a question or uh, rephrase an answer, you know, <laughs> it'd be much easier. So start off with Mr. Kenicon, who asked, what your a favorite combo? I'm going to assume that's what's my favorite combo. Uh, that would be screw Unicorno 145 white flat that I won Jay Blader CBD do with. <laughs> I also like Phantom. A, uh, ADW or GB145, any of those, WD, any of those tips. Also WTD as well, that's nice. Uh, any of those, awesome. I like duo combos that are the same too. I also like my duo and phantom combos from the last CBTs. Those are probably my favorites. Oh, and Flame Cap Report with 60 miles play, obviously. Um, yeah, those are probably my favorites. I like, um, probably, yeah, to be probably for attack will, honestly. I, I don't like 4D attack as much. Ferris is pretty cool, but I don't like it or Blitz a lot. And I feel like Flash just, Flash for me just doesn't, doesn't move the deal. It's really good. It just doesn't move the deal. I also like the combo I've got for the CBT, the Pegasus Eford, because it's using my, like, two favorite Zero G wheels. Do you like other your all combo? Do I like my other combos? Yes. That's what's asking. Do you have an unboxing Korea Cygnus 145 WD Hasbro one? No. I used to have an unboxing of the Takarotomi one before I deleted videos back in 2015. But that is long, long, long gone. Uh, Korea Cygnus, I've only got one and it's Takarotomi. I don't really care to have the Hasbro one. Like if I bought like a lot or something, I guess, and I had a Hyperblades Korea Cygnus, then great. But I don't have any plan on getting it. Do you like BB-10 or black one? Um, there's a black BB-10, which I don't own, and I do have a black burst stadium. I like the clear BB-10 the most, though. Um, after that would be the black burst stadium. And then, well, so he asked me about stadiums after, so. Uh, I like the BB-10 more than the black burst stadium. How you think all combo, they all good well? Is this asking about like the CBT combos? Because um, I'm not gonna dog anybody's CBT combos. Um, like, I might say it's a, something's a bit underpowered because it's a limited combo and, like, standard or something, but I'm not gonna go say, this combo sucks. <laughs> That's just rude and mean. <laughs> so, yeah, those, oh, can also ask, um, is mouth final? I don't know what that means, but, <laughs> uh, yeah, so, those are, uh, Ken's questions, and now we'll move on to the, uh, next person's. Okay, so next I want to move on to, who do I want to move on to? Let's move on to Landon Gilbert. I'm going to do these in a different order than the first recording. Um, yeah, I answered about a Beyblade movie in the comments because I don't know anything about a Beyblade movie. I literally don't keep up with Beyblade in the slightest. I, I feel like people, probably people who are newer, just assume or something. I don't. I literally do, I don't, I barely even watch Beyblade YouTube. <laughs> I only watch a handful of people. Um, but he also asked, after Burst, do you think there'll be another Beyblade series? And if, if so, do you have any ideas of what it could be? I'm, I have no idea. I, my dream would be Metal Fight 2, because I think I just want more everything from Metal Fight, because more, the more things, the more options. Give us more regular stuff. Give us more, uh, 4D Give us multiple, you know, like phantom and duos and stuff like that, as opposed to just being on one thing, so it's easier to get them. 
and give us more of them, give us more zero G, give us more of everything, because that'd make everything better, just having more um, sheer volume. But uh, what do I think it'll be? What I think it's honestly probably going to be plastic again, and it's probably going to be super gimmicky. That's my guess. I don't want it to be plastic again, because I prefer having a bit of weight. Not too much. Synchrome's a bit too heavy. Uh, and even that, or even after that, I think, I think regular metal fights the perfect. Because there's enough weight that it's not like too light, and it's also, um, you can ripcord launch it. It's, uh, ripcord launching if you have to, you know, that's what you basic, you know, basic thing you get in Hasbro packages, right? It's a bit hard when they're too heavy, so. But I think it's probably just gonna be something like plastic and gimmicky, and hopefully the stadium's good like the first stadium, because the first stadium's a great stadium. Uh, I just hope that the stadium is something, and maybe it's a gimmick that they can bring back the BB-10 as a stadium, as opposed to having to have walls because of the bay first. Um, my only hope is that it's not gimmicky. If it's not gimmicky, it'll be nice. But I feel like it's gonna be gimmicky. Okay, these next two people only have one question each, so I'm gonna go cover them. Uh, the Eunice asks, what are the videos you enjoyed make, uh, to make, or enjoy the most to make? Um, easy answer is anything involving friends, especially when it's IRL stuff, those are the absolute most fun. Um, I haven't, I haven't really done it re yet, though we need to. Probably when I pick up my room. I like to pick up my room this summer. Um, hopefully sooner rather than later. Um, I like to have Micah slash Meryl over to, uh, do, like, some Mario Kart videos or something, because those are fun, or, like, stream. And anytime Austin comes over and records, that, uh, huh. <sighs> Taco is basically tired for a camera. Um, those are a lot of fun to make. Um, but yeah, anything, anything involving friends is the most fun. I guess the only that indirectly involve friends, you know, like, uh, draft battles with other people involved, you know, friends. Um, and those were fun back in the day, but those also be frustrating, because there's, you sometimes get people who are just did not know what they're doing. Um, and that could be, that, that could make it a bit frustrating at times. So, CBTs are also fun, those also indirectly involve people. Um, I'm not recording, the drive, I wasn't directly recording with them. Uh, this is, you know, same thing, CBTs, I'm not directly recording with somebody, but those involve other people, those are fun too. Things that are purely me, um, I would say the montages and the trailers are actually the most fun. I really enjoy making those. Um, and yeah, yeah, it's probably watching the trailers. The trailers now, because I, I those are those are fun. The montages, the problem with them is um, nothing beats the first two montages because they take clips from all over. And I used to change setups and change camera angles, and I might care. I'd always have my camera angled in a different direction every single time, basically. So there's a lot of variance going from clips, and now you wouldn't have that, especially. The easiest thing is to download videos in order, or like I'm taking videos from month, is do them in order. And I have months where I have the exact same setup like the entire month, and then it's not as interesting to watch for me. And it makes it less fun to record or edit too. It's a pain in the ass to make them. Uh, so, those would be my favorite to make. Like, okay, when I look up like the montages, those are the. Those, those are, take the most effort, but they're the most fun when they like come out and all that. And, uh, um, the trailers are fun because it's easier to actually make them because it's just a, uh, it's just the CBT videos. And there's less clips, so I don't really mind having not as much variation and everything like that. But yeah, those are the two that I'm most fun to make myself. And then Ethereal Leon asks, how did you start Beyblade before YouTube in the first place before also joining into the Beyblade community, which is Beytube, by the way? I joined in the, or I, uh, started Beyblade with my friends. Um, Austin and his brother had bays, so then me and my sister got bays, and yeah, I got er, er, a dark bolt at the store, and then I went back before he left and picked out Earth Eagle because I wanted to have at least two. Then I got Poison Serpent and Earth Virgo in that order at Toys R Us. Then I got Storm Capricorn at Walmart, possibly Target. Then Evil Gemios and Flame Sagittarius were the only two bays at Target, and I chose. Evil Jimmyos. That already got the stores confused for those two. Um, and then I got Rock Eries at Toys R Us, and I don't remember the order after that. I remember Pisces and Fireblaze, which were the later ones. Uh, Libra and Gash were originally my sister, so it wasn't those two. It could have been El Drago. It could have been Pegasus. 
It could have been Aquario. I think I had my own Aquario. Um, what are the basic of fusion? Sagittarius got into two pack. I got the Earth Bull and Dark Bull, or Earth Eagle and Dark Bull to that two packs as well. Um, I don't know. I remember when though, like the order. I remember Fire Blaze and Pisces were like the last two I got from Metal Fusion, uh, that I specifically got. Because again, like the Fire Leon, I bought a Leon later on from a friend, but uh, Avenger Blader, that's on the channel. Uh, but like Libra and Dark Gash were originally my sisters, so there's a few that I didn't actually get, right? But yeah, I don't remember after seven, but I've got guesses. Anyway. Uh, that's how I got into Beyblade, and I got into the Beyblade community, this wasn't asked, but I'll mention it too. Uh, do Jbladers comment section. That's really what it was, it was just everybody commented on Jbladers comment section, and there was a community there, back in the day. So, uh, yeah. There are now two more people's questions left to do. Okay, next. Saving, I'm saving the best ones for last. Um, wait, 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 no, there's the Geoverse. I don't remember, I didn't do the Geoverse. Geoverse is next, I don't forget. Um, I like these questions, which is what I was saving is or theirs. I clicked on their channel before. Um, I can't tell if it's, uh, it sounds like, I think Geoverse might have multiple people behind it. Yeah. So their question is, uh, what is your, there are a few, what is your favorite metal series? Um, okay. This is tough because I like metal fusion in the sense that everything's really balanced. Though I guess some parts are a little better than others. Metal Masters uh, gave you more stuff, but you also got like Hades and Twisted and Screw, um, which are cool and all, but just from a pure Metal Fusion Metal Masters perspective are definitely a step above things. 230 is also probably a step above things at this point, because if you're looking at Metal Fusion Metal Masters parts, um, you do have RF and R squared up, so you can make some tall attack base, but you know, that's still a... <laughs> Uh, but I like Metal, I'd, I'd probably say Metal Masters, because even though it, it started the, the power creep, so to speak, um, there's just even more stuff there in Metal Masters and more parts. So Metal Masters, probably, because, yeah, just added more of what was there. I don't like Metal Fury and Zergy as much. Metal Fury I just never got a connection to, but it doesn't help that literally every single Metal Wheel's on one thing and one thing only, which sucks. And I feel like there's... There's a surprising amount of zero G wheels, or not zero G, metal wheels when you, uh, 4D wheels when you think about it. There might be more than non 4D wheels from Metal Fusion and Metal Masters, at least. I know Metal Fury have the fake Hasbro ones that are, you know, trash. And then you've got, uh, for the most part, at least. And then you've got, uh, like, Forbidden and stuff. There's, like, one or two, like, Forbidden that were added that weren't there before that aren't just Hasbro fied 4D. Uh, but every 4d wheels on one thing and there's that combined with there's not i feel it feels like there's not as much of them even though there probably is um yeah i, I just i don't know i can't get there's like a really specific tier list for like 4d stuff there's a few that are way better than everything else you know uh like duo you know stuff like that so i don't know i just can never get into 4d as much um, Zero G is definitely not my I like a lot of things about Zero G, but it is far from my favorite. Uh, what is your favorite Beyblade? That's probably Beyblade. That's probably a typo, because S is X to D on the keyboard. Uh, my favorite Beyblade is Earth Eagle. After that, it's a toss-up, because there's a lot of bays I really like. I prefer my Metal Fusion and Metal Masters bays, but there's some Metal Fury and some Zero G bays that I really like, too. What do you think about Zero G? Uh, okay, I hate... That Seacrim is so heavy. I hate that it's, generally speaking, unbalanced. I know Stamina isn't as unbalanced because of a Stamina Bay, I think. I think for metal, a 4D Stamina, good Stamina part, is gonna do better than a 4D Synchrom part. Though Synchrom's probably a bit less likely to get knocked out of the stadium. But from a just Stamina battle, purely Stamina battle, no KOs. But the defensive attack base are really heavy. They're just really heavy in general, which I don't like. Dragoon's annoying as hell. <laughs> um... I I don't like how unbalanced they are, or can be at least. I guess if you stack them on top of each other, it's a mirror, so it's not as bad, but um, other things that are not exactly balanced, which I don't like as well. But I love the look of the metal wheels, especially when you have bays that have good stickers. Some don't have as good stickers, but, you know, Gears is pretty cool looking. Um, I love everything that was on the metal, the metal wheel list. 
Revisor's pretty cool, they don't have the greatest stickers. Saramanda's pretty cool, doesn't have the greatest stickers. Gorium's pretty cool, though I, I don't have like any experience using Gorium. That's something about Zero G specifically, is... Oh, I guess you could make a defense combo and be fine. It's like attack. Attack is so, because it's so heavy, you can make an attack combo with not as good parts and still stand up to, you know, a, a CBT and stuff. And same with defense. Um, I've seen like Flash KO, Revisor, Revisor, but you could probably use like a Gorimba if you wanted. Stamina is the problem one, because I mentioned this in the, the list. Eroge is just a worse gimbal. Like, it doesn't have as much stamina as gimbal, so because it's a stamina piece, you're just using the worst part, you know? I guess if things are taken, sure. And that's the case in some, you know, sometimes things are taken, but I've got a lot of gimbals and killer guns. Uh, but generally speaking, um, I think the middle was really cool, even if some of them feel kind of useless. And I like all the spin tracks and tips they added. I think those are really cool, except for E230 and SP230, because I'm not a fan of big giant discs that are tall, <laughs> like giant BD145s. <laughs> but uh, th they're still cool, but they're uh, annoying. Uh, I don't like the stadium either, but I like the colors, and it had awesome, it has the best random boosters in my opinion. Um, sure, they're a bit generic, kind of like the original Metal Fury, Metal Masters ones really were, until I think it was Lynx was the first one, where you got like the Vulcan, Hell, Herogeum, and like Destroyers, right? Or the Herogeum, and Herusius, and all those, Herculeo, and then you had the ones that gave you like Billsbub, and Crown, and Fox, and Liar, and stuff like that. Um, after it, but the earlier ones were just, you know, basic parts, Striker, Fire Blade, Serpent, recolored into, uh, with, you know, basic tracks tips for the most part, though a few good ones like RF and CS. Uh, Zero G had, again, more, like, basic parts, and then used E for it a ton, it used Revisor a decent amount, used Saramanda a decent amount, Griff a decent amount, you know, like, Gorium, Wyvang, Garago, none of them were in random boosters. Gargoyle was only the prize bay, and the you know, all they all, each of them always have a part, right? So there's always gonna be a gargoyle and SM165 at a white semi flat and an archer on something else too, right? But gargoyle, you know, besides gargoyle and the other gargoyle wasn't in other ones. At least Phoenix was even in three, right? So they reused a ton of the same parts over and over and over and over again. Pegasus and Dragoon weren't in uh, random boosters at all. Balro wasn't in a random booster at all. So. They reuse the same things over and over, you know, basic things like the old Metal Masters and Fusion ones did. But they've got awesome colors, and that's what matters. <laughs> so, I like Zero G overall, but I've got problems with it. What do you think about Burst? I, I don't care about Burst at all. I watch a little bit of Burst content. I, okay, no, I did chance I don't care about it at all. I watch some Burst content. Like, I'll watch um, Studio Leo a bit for Burst. And occasionally I'll watch some other people. Um, occasionally. But... I don't have fun doing burst. I'll watch some people's burst battles, but I don't like burst. I don't like doing burst. I don't have. I have burst bays, um, and they look really cool. I think burst bays look really cool, but I don't love really using burst bays. So, um, I watch a bit of burst, and I like some people who do burst, but I myself am not a fan, at least from doing burst. I'll watch it a little bit, but I won't do burst myself. Um, they look really cool though. Okay, next person up is we got two more. Now we got two more, originally. Mega Turtles 10 and Forever the Hobbits. So I will do Mega Turtles 10 first. Save save the best for last. Um, okay. So let's start off with the Beyblade ones because that's way more boring. Uh favorite Beyblade character. Sora. Easy. Sora's the best. He's the best character in all of Beyblade, and one of the strongest bladers based off of the Metal Masters qualifying tournament, and they just never used him or, like, anybody else ever again. Rip. Top 5 Beyblade moments. Okay. Tsubasa beating the Cetuses. Tsubasa beating, uh, the Garcia guy with Gil. Deshine versus, uh, Julian, that was awesome. Then, uh, Sora using Avalanche move and changing parts for Metal Fusion. <laughs> That'd be an interesting, like, CBT idea or something. If you could, like, steal a part off of your opponent. That'd be, that's an interesting idea. That might be fun for, like, a small mini tournament, like a concept or something, you know. 
Um, tell me what you think of that in the comments below. A tournament where you can steal a part off of your, uh, well, would you have a, would some, would the winners though have an advantage or disadvantage? Because they'd know. I'd have to put like, this, I'd have to do a couple battles, like two battles per video. So the winners are in the same video and they both know who won, you know? Because it wouldn't be fair if someone's like, well, I don't know who won. So I won't change parts and then the next person wins like, well, I know who I'm facing, so, you know, so. But that could be a fun idea. Anyway, changing parts is funny. I always liked that. I liked that episode. That entire episode was great. Those are my favorite moments. That entire episode, avalanche move, that battle between Deshaun and Julian, and then the ending of those two Tsubasa battles. Favorite stadium that's not a BB-10? Super Vortex. The Super Vortex is the most fun because it's small. Um, the Burst Stadium is a runner-up though, and I like the Pegasus Thunder Whip that has nothing in it. I know there's like versions of all the stadiums that have nothing in it, those big ones, and then there's some that have something in it, you know? Like, I'm not sure if there was an El Drago Stadium that had anything in it, or a Leon Stadium that had anything in it, but like, there's a bowl that has the craters, and then one that it's just painted on, and there's not actually anything. But I like the- those are fun too, that'd be number three. I don't like the Zero G as much. It's also fun, though, some parts, you gotta be careful, because like, you know, H145 can snag, and things like that, but you can put the, uh, the burst stadium on the BB-10 and make like 380s, and that's pretty fun. Okay. Do you believe in love at first sight? I want to say yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think I do. I don't really put much thought into that, but I'd say yes. How to tell? How to tell if you like someone romantically? I have no idea. Like I don't know. For me. I can see people and think that person's attractive or something, but I don't really get any type of romantic feeling unless I've talked to somebody a little bit. Um, I can't just do that off of looks. So I don't honestly, I can't answer this. I don't have much, I don't have much um, experience in the ways of love. So yeah, I can't answer that, unfortunately. What's the meaning of life? Life's meaningless. I'm glad I could hold that for a little bit. I wanted to... I, I, th I thought about cutting that out, but I don't want to cut that out. Um, maybe I will. Maybe I'll just cut all this out. I don't know. But uh, I wanted to hold that for a little bit to really give the... You know. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Best, save him the best for last. So, Forever the Hobbit asks, What has it been like staying in the Beyblade community even with the major changes to the YouTube scene over the last 10 years? Um... Really, there's actually not much changes. It's just, it's burst now, and thumbnails and titles are modernized, you know? Um, you know, you get the things with, like, all caps and stuff like that. And I do that, too. Uh, but it's not really, like, much of a, much of a change, you know? It's, yeah, it's not really much of a change, I guess. Uh, I, I could talk about more things, I guess, but I'm not going to. <laughs> um... Because that covers the question. Oh, I thought I saw something. I didn't. Um, but that, that covers the question. It hasn't really changed a lot, like, um, when in regards to the YouTube scene changing. What is it like having previously had Shady Penguin subscriber recruit you in your comment section? So, um, basically, long, okay, so to fill in anybody, uh, back in August 1st, 2013 and the old youtube inbox system i got a message from shady penguin who currently has 500k but at the time had under a thousand subscribers small channel uh asking you know to come check out his videos and stuff right and i subscribed uh big shady penguin fan i wear my hoodies you see in the videos probably uh or, or my shirts forever the hobbit uh we talked about this a little bit i forget exactly right um but he was also a long time shady penguin fan and back when Shady did a Shady Law, the first ever Shady Law, he used the, um, some feature that allows, I'm not sure it's even there now or what, but it allows you to see your top fan. And Pokemon Legor, aka Forever the Hobbit, was the top fan. So he is the original Legor, the Grand Bull, and the Shady Law. So both of us are long time Shady Bones members, but it's really, really cool, is what I'd say. Really, really cool. Are you planning a playthrough with Scarlet slash Violet? Absolutely not. I actually need to stream Shining Pearl probably 
because I'd A, like to get through it, and B, I also learned that even though I'm close to a thousand subscribers, I would love to be able to get monetized again and make even just a little bit of change off of YouTube. But uh, I'm not even close on watch hours, so <laughs> I'm going to have to make some changes in my channel to try to get there. Um, I should stream Shine for a while. I might, I'd, I'd like to do that over the summer, maybe. Uh, how hard are the Bengals going to clap back next year after the Super Bowl lost? Super Bowl 57 champions right here. Heard it here first. Actually didn't hear it here first because a bunch of people have said it. Any, any Bengals fan knows that we're going to, we're winning the Super Bowl next year. Very excited for next, the uh, next season. So yeah, that covers all of it. Um, I just made an update when the, the channel thing, but I, I just made an update with the channel, uh, 900 subscribers. Uh, yeah, I, I'm short on watch time for monetization, so, uh, if you see experimenting or something, that's probably what it is. Um, I've actually just made the decision on the spot, I'm gonna do the CBT in longer parts this time. I'm gonna do quarters, uh, for at least the first round, because I'd like to see how watch time is affected. I'm just curious, because I think, uh, generally speaking, it probably hurts that I've got shorter videos. Um, this has to be, like, it's a lot, I mean, it's 4,000 watch hours, so, you know, if I've got average four minute video, that's 40, 10 videos is 40 hours, right? If everybody watched, or 40, um, four minutes is an hour, one hour, one four hundred if for every 10 videos, if everybody watched all the way through, which they don't. So really, they don't watch a minute through generally, so that's 40, like, that's like 40 videos. Um, and that is if I that's that's one a day, that's a month right there. So I wanted to do something about that. But yeah, I'm gonna actually try to uh try to mess with some things. Just letting you guys know if you see some testing or some weird things or longer things, that's probably what it is. CBC is gonna be the first test of me. <laughs> so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the CBT.